Call this beat Will Smith, cause it slaps hard. Hear it not when I pull up on your boulevard. So everybody today is talking about Brittany Renner and her body count. She revealed on a show with Shannon Sharp that her body count is 35 and he had to take an extra drink and now the world's going crazy and having a debate as always about whether or not it matters if women have high body counts. Now I did a show six months ago where I talked about the fact that most women that have high body counts is usually the result of trauma whereby they're using it as a means to try to bond and connect with men even the men that aren't going to stay with them long term because they think that's what's going to get them in their good graces, right? So here's the thing. Obviously, I'm a dude coming on here. Women are going to see this and be like, oh my God, why should we listen to another dude talk about whether or not body count matters? And I don't want to do that to you. So here's what I'm going to say, right? I'm going to say this. The reason that body high body count in women matters is because women say that it matters. And you could literally go on YouTube and go on Reddit right now and look up all the women that are older, mind you, that talk about them being promiscuous in their early years and how much they regret it. You can uh, see tons of videos on YouTube about former, uh, we'll say, adult film stars who are have turned their lives over or gotten out of that business and said, man, it sucks that I had to have all those people in me and that it's going to now affect my lifestyle. And I actually regret the fact that people can still see me naked beyond just being in that adult world, you know? And so I mean, let's, not, let's take men out of it because I know women are going to be like, men are controlling. How dare they say they work, care about high body count, double standard, this is that. Let's just listen to what the freak women are saying in terms of high body count. So I went on Reddit. I'm just going to read you with a few things that some women said as in reference to them having a high body count. So one person said, a uh, high body count ruined me. I have a high body count of around 20, including sugar daddies. I'm afraid this makes me unlovable. And then she says that she was, uh, she got her body taken against her will, I'll say, for the, her first time, which skewed her perception of what hooking up was supposed to be. So she's saying that in terms of a high body count, part of that's because, but again, trauma and the fact that she thought that this meant this is how you get with people. So in her case, is her having a high body count a good thing? Like if you were to go to her and say, hey, if you go, woman, you have a high body count. You do what you want to. Do you think in her subconscious is going to be like, yeah, good for me to having a high body count? Or is she going to be like, I was trying to deal with freaking trauma and I didn't know this is the wrong way to do it. Again, it's a woman talking. This person said here, um, I don't know how to get past the shame and regret. I'm 25 and my body count is 14. I had four separate traumatic hookup experiences in my life starting when I was five years old. Again, another person hooking up excessively because of trauma. This is why I said in a previous episode that all these high body count of women, a lot of them are doing it not because they want to or because they have extra testosterone. It's because they had something happen to them inappropriately when they were younger and they're trying to make up for it and cover it up because subconsciously what's happening is this. is They're trying to say, I didn't have a chance to be in control of when I hooked up in my younger years and now I'm going to take control. This is me taking control by allowing men to plow me and do whatever with me. And I can say that's under the guise of it's what I want. But is it actually what you want or is it really just trauma that's happening? Anyway, uh, on to the next person. Let's see. This person here said, I've been feeling disgusted by myself because of the number of hookups that I've had. Now, a lot of the women on these Reddit forums, by the way, they're saying like I slept with like six to 10 guys, which in today's realm is not a whole lot. But even with that, these women are talking about how like it they, it they really felt some kind of way about it, how they were hoping for that connection. It didn't happen and they feel ashamed for it now. And it's not men that are putting the shame on them because, hey, I'm a dude. I'm realistic. I'm like, hey, if a woman comes to me and she's had a high body count, I in the subconscious, I may not like it all that much, but like I'm also realistic. Like if I'm dating somebody that's, say, 30 plus, if they had two partners a year, that would be from age 20 to 30. That would be like 10 partners, all right? So I'm not unrealistic in my head about what is to be out there, given that, especially given that I'm 41 dating women around that age bracket, you know? But the point is this, is that even if I'm not putting shame on them, they are still gonna feel their own shame because honestly, part of it also is this too. Women, they have high body counts. You gotta figure women are generally pretty easy to get along with and ideally of the two sexes should be able to get into a relationship a lot easier and stay in it a lot longer if she's not doing anything wrong. The fact that these women are having hookups here and there and then like the guys are breaking it off, 
that's not really a good telltale sign that all these women are like having the, the proper attitude or have the right mental state to stay in a relationship long term, you know? Um, let's see. So she, let's see this woman right here. She was in a four year relationship with someone she thought she was going to marry before then she slept with someone casually once and had a series of relationships in her early twenties, which did not last long. She's been with six people, only six people, but yet she feels ashamed because she wants to settle down, but she's concerned. No dude's going to want to be interested in her. Um, and in her friendship circles, most of her friends have only had one or two partners. Now people in the comments were saying, Hey, six people in today's age at 27, not a lot of people. And hey, I have to agree, but this is not about me. This is about the fact that she herself feels bad about doing this in hindsight. That's what I want you guys to know is that for the women watching this, these women are feeling this way in hindsight. They're, if you're a younger 21, 22 year old, you're going to think there's no big deal. What's going on? But the longer you're in the hookup culture, the more you're actually delaying being able to eventually get with that person that is going to actually be the one you want to be with. And then especially because of things like biological clocks and stuff like that, you can't, you don't really have the time to waste getting into your mid thirties thinking, okay, I'm 35. Now I'm going to start pumping out kids. Can it happen? Yes. Does it happen? Yes. That often, not really. And also the, the eggs at that level are more apt to cause uh, kids to come out that are going to be more abnormal or have possibly more birth defects. All right. So don't think that you delaying it by doing all this hookup before you find that one person is going to actually be beneficial to the health of your baby. So this person said, okay, uh, she's been dating a guy. Uh, he's always been this, he married his high school sweetheart. They divorced 12 months ago after, after a 20 year relationship, after she cheated on him, he's old fashioned, blah, blah, blah. They spent the weekend together and he asked questions about sexual history. He asked if I ever had a threesome and I answered honestly, which means yes. Then he asked how many partners I've had and I didn't give a number. I said, it was more than I'm proud of, which is a product of being divorced slash single for eight years. So again, while, and to be fair, this dude was kind of one of those dudes that was like heavily judgmental. But by having the conversation in the beginning, before he even knows anything, he just asked her, hey, so like how many people you've been with? And her response is more than I'm proud of. You know what she's saying? She's saying that she herself is already not proud of this count prior to even having this conversation with this guy. Because again, it's a sense of pride for a woman. I, I'm not a woman, so I can't speak for you guys, but I will say that ideally, women being able to hold themselves to a standard that says, hey, I don't just let any person inside me. I'm going to actually make sure that I'm vetting these guys and waiting to find the one that seems to be the right guy to be able to then allow access to that is a lot more is, is more highly praised upon and is better looking in the long run, both for both for the guys, more importantly to the women's self-esteem, because I don't think, I think women are being realistic with themselves. I don't think that any of them would have legit pride in being able to just have a bunch of dudes run in on them. Because people always ask the difference between why is it so different from a guy versus a girl? And I've said time and time again, in order for a man to get the same level of access that the average woman could get to sex, he has to build up a bunch of skills. He has to typically be able to have something to show for it, whether it's he can converse well or he can dress well or he's got money in the bank or he's working out. He's got abs like he guys have to typically do stuff in order to get that kind of access. And even then, even the best looking pimp is in the world still cannot equate to a woman that just walks into the middle of a bar and says, hey, someone come home and hook up with me like an average woman can do that every single night of the week and hook up. And even the most best looking guy in the world can't do that. Like they can't, unless they have that game, which again, they have to build the skills to have that game. So that's why it's not as respected is because it doesn't take a, a whole bunch for a woman to go someplace and get a hookup. So women that are like, oh, I'm control this. You're really not like you with a vagina. I got news for you. If it's not you, some other girl comes along and says, hey, come hook up with me. Every dude's going to do it. It doesn't take work. What it takes more work is to be able to say, hey, I'm going to hold myself to a high standard and actually like maybe like wait a bit and make sure that these guys that want to hook up with me are actually dudes that A, I want to actually get with, and B, are who they say they are before I just give it all away. So maybe that means not hooking up for the first two or three months. Maybe that means like really putting a guy through the ringer before he actually gets access to you. And dudes, dudes just want to be on women's program. Like a dude will be like, look, if, if in order to hook up with you, I got to take you out on dates and I got to spend time with you and I got to really find out what you're about before you, we actually do some stuff. 
but but I'm going to get access to you as a result of doing that. Fine. You know what? Let's do that because I'm actually in this to get to know you. And I hope that sex will be part of that. But if in the first couple of months, it's not, that's fine. And hey, I've been a dude that's waited like two or three months before I hooked up with somebody that I ended up dating, you know? So it's like women got to understand that they really hold more power when they're not doing so much. And there's always this fight too that pe people say, well, you know, a woman's body count couldn't be so high if, but a man, if a man, if men weren't banging them. So it was like on some, but yeah. That could be absolutely true. That could be true. But the reality is that, again, us, you, the, you ladies are the ones with the access. So you could say, well, a woman wouldn't have a, such a high number if all these random dudes. Yeah, but like each random dude, like there could be one dude that comes to her and is a virgin. Another dude that comes to her is a virgin. Another dude that comes to her that maybe has one or two bodies on them. So collectively, those guys individually don't have all these bodies. But the woman now has four bodies on her from dudes that only had one or two partners. So you see, the, the math ain't mathing up right. But anyway, to the point, it's like, again, this isn't about how men think about it. This is about how do women themselves talk about them, this self. And the reality is that most women had that girlfriend in their group that they know. They call her a slut. They call her loose. They call all these other things because they are also judging her. And again, women want to try to be like, oh, it's because of the patriarchy, because men are visiting these standards, this and that. Hey, you know what? Let's say you're going to throw out the whole men are the ones that are responsible for making us feel guilty and yada, 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 right? At the end of the day, when you are by yourself and you're going to that new guy that doesn't know your body count, and he's even, he may have asked you and you said you told some lie, you only told one or a number of one or two, like he knows nothing about it, right? He knows nothing about what you've been through, but you got to sit with yourself. And in the dark of night, when you're sitting there in your bedroom and you're thinking back on your body count, you have to legitimately ask yourself, are you legitimately happy that you had a bunch of dudes come inside you and then leave? Like, if you're fine with that, hey, you know what? I'm not going to persuade you to think otherwise. But I, I, I'm pretty sure that given the stuff that I researched, the women that I've talked to, the things that I'm reading on Reddit, the things that I've seen on YouTube from women, that across the board, most women, especially in hindsight, aren't proud of their high body count. So the reason high body count matters, women, is because you all make it matter. You all the ones that are going to therapy. You're the ones that are trying to take depression pills because you've hooked up with all these guys and you think it's all fun, but at the same time, you're not quite with the love of your life. And now you have a bunch of bodies that your soul tie connected to, and it's confusing on the insides, and you got to take drugs for it and go to counseling. Like none of that sounds like it's really fun. Like none of that stuff sounds like it's legitimately something that you wanted to do. Like did you want to have all these extra problems that came with a high body count? So you got to take that in consideration. Hey, women, I get it. Don't listen to men. Go do your own research and listen to all the women out there that were promiscuous in their past. That And you will find some that were totally like, hey, I was promiscuous and it is what it is and it's totally fine. But there's a, a wide variety of women out there that will tell you otherwise, that they're not proud, that they wish they had known better, and that if they, if they could take one thing back, it's the number of lamos and weirdos and creepy guys and kind of okay, ugly guys, and even dudes that were great, but then in hindsight, they didn't get to get with, that they wish they could take that back and not have that experience. So that's something to consider as we're having this conversation about high body count. Just wanted to put that out there, but let me know in your comments if you agree or disagree, because I could be crazy. I could be a crazy, um, hey, you're a dude, you don't know what women go through, you don't know how they feel. Hey, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it. That's all I got. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.